The following video consists of rumors and nothing else. Some things might be proven as facts, but you would have to check the sources to prove these things. Other than that, they are nothing but rumors, and that is all. Keep that in mind before watching this video. Thank you very much. Halloween 9, Rumors and the Film That Almost Was This article was posted on September 22, 2012. Most of you would say, why would you bring us an article that's so old? I wanted you to know how many people were still behind this film 10 years later. I will put the article in the description box for you to read, but the article reads as follows. With the original Halloween returning to theaters in a wide release this October, meaning October of 2012, it's obvious that Halloween is one of the most beloved franchise to all horror fans. While not always a commercial success, the original eight films which were released between 1978 and 2002 always made back their budget and kept one of the most iconic serial killers, Michael Myers, alive and well. But did you know that before Rob Zombie's quote, revisions came along, there were talks and a lot of rumors about Halloween 9? Yes, there are a lot of rumors regarding Halloween 9. However, I can confirm that the film was in the development stages. Can't take my word for it? Go buy Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Give it a watch. It took place at a huge horror convention and Mustafa Akkad was the executive producer on every Halloween film not only confirmed the beginning stages of Halloween 9, but even gave a fan, Heather Bowen, a walk-on role in the feature. Unfortunately, Mustafa was killed in a terrorist attack in Jordan on November 11, 2005. Mustafa's tragic passing seems to have completely derailed further development of Halloween 9. Maybe the interest just wasn't there from any other party. Maybe his death affected the crew members to the point where they thought abandoning the franchise was the best idea. Still, since Halloween 9 was in talks, rumors, and made their way to the internet, and you know what they say, what goes on the internet can stay there forever. Here are some rumors I was able to find about the film that almost was, Halloween 9. The majority of rumors seem to focus on Dr. Sam Loomis. The basic plot was believed to follow Dr. Loomis' daughter or son trying to hunt down and stop Michael Myers once and for all. The gender and name of Loomis' offspring was always different, ranging from Nancy Loomis and Susan Loomis to Joe Loomis. Apparently, Dr. Loomis had left behind detailed files which his child could use to hunt down the killer. Rumors also proposed that Stephen Lloyd, Lori's grandson, seen as a baby in Halloween 6 would accompany the next generation Loomis on his quest to eradicate Michael Myers forever. Other rumors whipped around the horror corner of the internet but were completely different from the most prevalent Loomis based rumors. In November 2003, Bloody Disgusting had posted a letter from an anonymous source that state that Halloween 9 would follow Sheriff Brackett as he tries to find Michael 
and avenge the death of his daughter, Annie. The plot was apparently leaked by Akkad and Charles Cyphers at the taping of 25 Years of Terror. Another rumor saw Michael Myers as a patient once again at Smith's Grove Asylum as he is waiting execution. The screenplay was intended to be written by Matt Vanilla. We can only imagine what would have been in store for Halloween 9. For now, it seems the franchise, the 3D revision included, is dead in the water. But who knows? The night he came home has turned into the seven nights and two remakes that he came home. And we all know it takes a lot to keep Michael Myers down.